What is going on fellow web developers? My name is Tyler Potts and in today's video we're going to be looking into Craft CMS. Now this is just going to be an introduction to it. We're just going to look how you install it and create a couple of pages as well as some custom fields to go with it in the CMS. Um, now Craft CMS is free if you're building a website for yourself or a friend but you're also able to upgrade it to be able to do it professionally or enterprise here. Uh, we're going to be using the free version today of course because we're building a website for ourselves. So I'm going to go back to Craft CMS here and what is Craft CMS? Well, it's it's a content management system, CMS in the name, and what it does is it allows you to create websites where you can manage in the back end the content. So you can do blog posts, you can do you can create blogs, you can create e-commerce stuff. As you can see here, they have dedicated e-commerce stuff, which is really nice. There is plugins you can install, um, and the plugins are super useful. Um, just like WordPress, if you ever use WordPress, it is a very similar um, platform to WordPress. So what we're going to do here is we're going to get ready and we're going to install it. So let's get started. Today's video is brought to you by Cloudways, a managed cloud hosting platform for PHP based applications. Cloudways takes over all server management and security hassles to let you solely focus on your business. Their custom stack provides performance boosts, managed backups that keep your apps safe and a staging environment that lets you test code without breaking the live site. Plus, pre-configured composer and integrated git make deployments a breeze and you get a choice between five top cloud providers, including DigitalOcean, AWS, Linode, GCE, and Fulture. With Cloudways, you not only get flexibility, but peace of mind. So if you're an agency or an e-commerce store owner, Cloudways is a great fit for all your managed hosting requirements. And I particularly like their slogan too, moving dreams forward. It fits what they do, don't forget to use promo code TylerP to get up to one month free hosting with $15 free hosting credit. So we're in our terminal here and what we normally would have to run is Composer. Um, and just to mention, you will need a local web surfer and also um, some sort of uh, Composer, well you need Composer installed. Um, and as you can see here, we have MAMP installed for our local server and what um, it's free if you want to go download it uh, just search MAMP in Google and it will come up and you can set up your document route and I think how you want it so we're in our craft CMS terminal here so what we're going to run is create or composer create project and then we're going to give this a um, we're going to say craft we'll use craft CMS forward slash craft and then we're going to give this a project name so it's going to be craft test just quickly craft test and when I hit this, I'm going to get an error because I have a weird error on my machine. So I'm going to show you how you get around this error after we've done it. So let's just hit enter and it's going to go and create it, blah, blah. And then you're going to get an error. Your requirements could not be resolved to an installable set of packages. Now, if we just list here, you see it has created this, but it's faulty. It's only got half the stuff in it and it's not going to work. So I'm just going to go sudo rm uh, hyphen r craft test. Remove that, give him my password, and get rid of that. We don't need that. So how we fix this is we actually have to go to the MAMP route. I don't know if it's a MAMP issue and MAMP has caused it, but because I'm using MAMP, I'm going to show you how you do this. So I'm going to go forward slash applications, MAMP, forward slash bin, and then we're going to search for PHP, and then we're going to go for a PHP version. We're using 7.4, as you can see here, 0.12. And then we just need to look for the bin and the PHP version there. So we're going to run PHP and then we're going to get the composer. So we need to go to where our composer is installed. So we're going to go user, local, and then I can't remember, it's bin, composer. There we go. So we go to there and then we run our create project and then we're going to say craft CMS forward slash craft. And then finally give it a name. So for this, we're just going to call it Craft Demo YouTube. Hit enter. And this is actually going to work this time, which is an added bonus. So there you go. And as this is going, we're going to need to set up our database. So we're going to go here. We're going to say localhost forward slash PHP my admin. Again, you need a local surface setup. This is why I'm using MAMP. With MAMP all started, I'm able to do this here. So I'm going to create a new Craft 
demo hyphen YouTube and I'm just going to click create and that's all I need to do. I just need to create a database ready for when we do it. So as you can see it says um, a new install craft CMS is all done. A really nice UI and what we're going to do is are you ready to begin the step? So we can just say yes. Which database driver are you using? So we're going to be using MySQL. It's going to ask us database server name or IP address and that's fine. We're going to be using that. The port for our database is again there. Uh, the database username is root and the password on MAMP by default is also root. So the database name is whatever we've just called it here. So we've just called it craft demo YouTube. So we're going to craft demo YouTube. And then table prefix. Now you can do whatever you want. I'm just going to put here craft. Um, and it says install craft now. I'm just going to hit yes. And it's going to ask us do what's the username. We're just going to call it admin. Email address. This is, could just be anything. I'm just going to put mine in here. Uh, uh, Gmail.com. Hit enter. And the password. Now I'm just going to put test1234. Hit enter. Confirm. Test1234. Hit enter. Obviously secure your password a little bit better for now. As you can say site name it's just going to be craft demo site url it's just going to be http forward slash local host and that's all we need to do there and then site language enus is fine and there you go it's going to create everything we need to get started with our um craft cms so as you can see that's done so if we go back here and we refresh you can see we now have a bunch of tab tables in here a lot of them <laughs> an absolute lot of them um, which is cool, which is cool. So we don't need it anymore. Let's close that. And now if we go to our web server, I'm going to click preferences and I'm going to choose a new document route. So we go craft demo and we go craft demo YouTube. You can see we've got here web, right? So we need to actually go into our web because I think we run is going to come from our web folder because um, this is where our index.php file is and we're just going to click choose. And now this is just going to load. It's it's just being slow for some reason. There you go. And I'm just going to click OK. And then once this done, it's going to restart my server for me. And there you go. Open it here. So we can click my website. And you can see we are given this basic area here. Now, there's a few things we can do. It says we can edit our files in index.twig. We can also go to our control pad. So let me show you the index.twig first. So this uses a twig templating engine. And what we can do here is say code dot or oh, actually cd into our craft demo youtube and then code dot to open it up with official studio code now in the in our extension host terminated unexpectedly that's really useful ignore that <laughs> my fierce code has been messing up recently so if we come in here you can see we've got welcome to craft cms um we've got all the stuff in here what we could need and it's looking pretty cool but we don't want any of this. So let's say we want to edit. Say it says welcome. Let's say welcome Tyler. So if we go back and we refresh, you can see it says welcome Tyler instead, which is really nice. Um, and you can just edit that as you want, just as a normal HTML file. But let's say we want to create our own stuff and add in some custom areas here. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to our control panel here, which is actually just whatever your URL is, forward slash admin login. And in here, it's this is just pre-filled stuff. Ours is admin and it's test one, two, three, four. Let's just hit show. Keep me logged in and let's hit login. And that should now log us straight in. There you go. And now you might be looking at this and thinking, wow, this looks completely different. And yeah, it, it does. It looks different. It's new. It's cool. It actually, in theory, it's actually quite a reminder of WordPress if you've used it. But where we need to start off is in our settings. So inside of our settings, we have a bunch of these ones here where you can change some site settings. But the one we're going to be looking at is sections because we need to create a new page. So we're going to go sections. We're going to create a new section. And what we're going to do is going to call this home. And as you can see here, home. So in here, we've got our home area. Now it says here, what's the section type? Now you can use different ones of these. So we've got a single, which is basically like a page. If you wanted a whole page, you would choose that one. If you wanted a channel, this would be um, where you could do your blog posts and stuff like that. And then structured, um, I'm not actually 100% sure on, so I'll have to come back to it now. But let's go for single for this one. Let's click this because this is our home page. We want to use this as a home page, so we don't need to put a URL in. And the template is going to be index. As you can see here, our twig file, so here, it's taking this twig and it's putting it here. So if we click that, and click save and edit entry types you can see here we've come to home and there it is 
So let's click settings, oh sorry, back to settings. Let's go back to our sections and over here you can see it says edit entry type. So if we click that, we can actually drag in new things here, which is fine, but we're not gonna do that right now. So let's go back to our homepage. Uh, not there, sorry. Uh, click this and it will take you back to your homepage. There we go, welcome Tyler. And let's go back to our code. Let's delete everything in here and let's just go doc type, uh, HTML. Oh. My Emmet has stopped working since my computer has stopped working. So I'm just gonna basically do the boilerplate stuff here. We're gonna do body slash body slash HTML. There we go. So we've got that and it's just a basic uh, starting one here. And also this is wrong. It should just be doc type HTML. There we go. So that's all set up. Now inside here, we're going to create a NAF bar. So we're just going to say NAF. NAF. Oh, if I can. And we're just going to have two links. So let's just go in here. Let's just say an anchor tag href. And this is just going to be equal to slash because it's going to be our home page. We're just going to say home. We're going to copy that, paste it again. This time we're going to do forward slash about, which will be our about page. Now, under here, we're just going to have our title. So we're going to just do a H1 and we're just going to say hello and then world H1. And then below there, we can just say H2 and we're going to have a subtitle as well. So subtitle. Now this is cool, but what happens if we wanted to edit this content inside of our CMS? Let's say we wanted a different H1, or we wanted this to be our title. Well, to do that, we're going to use two curly braces, like this. And we're just going to say, let's just select down here and just type in twig. Sorry, it's not even going to allow me to, because my Emmet is broken. So we'll just do this manually. And what we can say is entry dot title. Now if we hit save and we go back and we refresh our home page, you can see we now get here and we get this home where we've entered our title. Now, if we remove this and just write test, save, you can see that comes there. So what that's doing, it's pulling through our title of our page. Um, so if we just refresh again, you can see it goes home. So if we go back here, you can see show title field, title format, and it'll give us a name here. And what we can do is we can go back to our settings. We can go to our um, sections, into our home, and I'm pretty sure if we just change this to let's say test and we save and we go back and we refresh, you can see it's updated to test, which is perfect. So you can now change the name of your page and it will change um, it there. So now we've got our name in, which is home, which is nice, but we kind of want more than that, don't we? So if we go to settings, we need a subtitle so we can create some custom fields. So if we go to fields, we create a new field. We can call this a uh, subtitle and it will create us a handle for us. We're going to use this to actually reference it in the code. Then down here, you can see this is just text. You could just say um, enter a subtitle or you could leave it blank. That's up to you. And then what type of field is this? Now we can choose if this is like um, a drop down menu, a matrix, my selects, or we can just have plain text, which is the one we can go for. You can get plugins that update this and you can even get in a lot more stuff. But for now, that's fine. So let's say we've got our title here, subtitle, let's click save. Now, normally um, we've added that. So what we need to do is we actually need to go to our sections again and we need to actually edit its entry types. And now over here, you can see on the right, we have a subtitle. So we can drag this in and drag it into our content block here. We can create a new tab if we wanted to. Um, and a tab will just basically organize the stuff on our dashboard. So we go to our dash, oh sorry, our entries not a dashboard, and we go to our home, we just click in here. You can see we now get a, a enter a subtitle. So here we can just say my awesome subtitle, click save, and that's now gonna be here. So if we go back here, refresh, nothing's gonna happen because we need to change this out. So we need to do some template again, an entry. So an entry is kind of like our page or the current entry, what we're currently attached to. So we're gonna go here and go sub title, hit save, go back and refresh, and you can see we get my awesome subtitle. So that's awesome. Let's go to our about page. We currently don't have one. So let's go create one. Let's go to our settings, uh, sections, and let's create a new section. Now there's going to be an about page, and we're going to change this to a single again. And this time we're not going to check home. This time we're going to do about or forward slash about. And over here in our template, we need to create one. So let's go back here. 
let's create a new file and call it about.twig. Oh, that's not how you do twig. Let's rename that. About.twig. And let's just copy everything from our home and pull it in here. So we could have we could reuse our index here. Um, and that would work perfectly fine as well. Um, but we could also do this and do something else. And we can have, let's say, a paragraph. Where, oh, that's, a, that's, that's not a paragraph tag. That was a PHP tag. Um, and what we could say in this, we could do lorem 50. And again, uh, my Emmet isn't working. My bad. So lorem ipsum and dollar ellipse. That's kind of how it goes, right? I'm pretty fluent in lorem ipsum. <laughs> Um, and there we go. So we could have an extra paragraph in here or change up the CMS for our about. So if we go in here, this isn't going to show right now. So let's just say it's index, save and edit. And if we go, if we go back to our settings again, over here, template, we can just change that to be about template. Click save. And there you go. We've got our about page. Now let's click edit entry type and let's add our subtitle in here too. Drop it in. Click save. Now, if we don't add anything to our subtitle and we refresh here, you can see this now works. Our subtitle will just not appear, which is really useful. So it's not there. But if we go back and we go to our entries and we go to the about, we can enter in our about subtitle. Click save. Go back, refresh, and there you go. So now we can use these navigation links to swap between the different pages and have it set up. And that's all I'm going to show you in this video. Just a really quick installation and how you can create a couple of pages to get started. Now, if you do enjoy this video and you want to see more craft CMS tutorials, maybe some more in-depth, creating a whole blog or something like that, then please let me know in the comment section below. Um, I haven't done much on this because I'm not sure if you guys are going to like it. So if you tell me you like it, I will do a lot more content on this as well as other things like WordPress and more PHP based stuff. So if that's what you're interested in, please let me know and I will create it. So for now, guys, thank you all for watching this video. If you've enjoyed it, don't forget to leave a thumbs up, smash that subscribe button, and I will see you in the next video. Thanks for watching and peace out.